Hello and welcome back to another show. I'm Sid and in today's video I'm going to be going over this eyelash effect which you can create for yourself in Instagram and Facebook. Uh, obviously mine doesn't look that great. My Photoshop and editing skills leave a lot to be desired. The better you are at editing, uh, drawing in Photoshop, GIMP, any, anything like that, the better your effect will come out, Like the, obviously. But if you have a look the tracking's pretty good here, and the only thing is really just how well they're drawn. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Create a new project, and then minimize this one over here. We can open up our GIMP project. Uh, this is the photo editing software I'm using. All the links will be in the description down below. Uh, and I've imported the face masculine texture, uh, the face masculine image, and the mesh trackers from the Spark AR Reference Assets Pack, which is available for free from the Spark AR website. Again, links down below. So basically, now that I have this open here with the trackers, I'm gonna open a new layer, I'm gonna create a new layer called Eyelashes. And I'm gonna come and zoom in on this. And now there are a couple ways that you can do this. Uh, basically, you can import a PNG. You can find a transparent PNG for eyelashes online. Uh, something like this. It will look like this, except it'll actually be transparent. This one's just a JPEG. So if I import this, you see, it will just import as an image uh, and it won't be transparent. But you can download those from the internet. Usually you have to sign up for a website though, give them your email, and I couldn't be able, uh, I couldn't really be bothered for this video, so I've decided to just draw mine instead, which is what most people will do, I imagine. Mine don't look that great, <laughs> the, the ones I drew before, and I'm guessing these won't either. So the reason that the ones I had here are white is because uh, if I draw in black on here, you can see it's a little bit more difficult to see, especially with the mesh grid. Uh, you can remove that, but... Oh, now I'm just being silly. I've got to get used to this. It's been a while, a couple of days now since I made a video. But yeah, so you pretty much just want to draw like this. Um, I prefer having the mesh on which is why I'm using the white. It doesn't really matter black or white, you can change the color once you import it into Spark. Uh, but yeah, you wanna keep outside of these tracking dots, uh, just like on this side is what I'm saying. So if you draw like this, that's terrible. I can already just tell. Well, and you just draw all the way around. Oh, these are gonna be great. <laughs> the better you are drawing, the better your drawing will come out. There are different effects and different styles, so you can have like something that slightly tapers off at the end or is a little bit more transparent. But I don't care for me, I guess the dark brown, crazy eyed, white bushy brows. That's the one. So I haven't really made a couple, I haven't made a video in about a week. I'm trying to get used to this again just speaking out loud it's a little bit more difficult than you think uh okay so that'll do <laughs> we'll call that done you can see i have this here which looks pretty nice uh but we haven't done it on this other side now you can go over and manually draw everything in on this other side too but i prefer just for simplicity's sake to duplicate this layer so right click on it and then duplicate and we can hide that one for the time being. And if we come up to this layer, we can select our, we select our flip tool. And if we select this, then you see it flips the entire layer, which places it on the other side. Now we can make this visible again. And you see we have two mirrored eyelashes. Now, if I want, I can come in and slightly edit this. So maybe anyway, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Ah, I'm freaking out. We'll change the size to like 20. And then just sort of brush that away, brush all those bits. 
Make this one a little bit smaller. Look at that, beautiful. We've got some eyelashes right there. And now we wanna hide our face mesh. See, we have our two white eyelashes. So now we'll export this to the desktop. We'll just call it eyelashes.png. Replace the one I already have over there. And now we'll come back to our new project, which we've opened in Spark AI Studio. Uh, we'll create a face mesh and, and add a material layer, which will create this sort of white mask. Come down to our material layer and choose the file that we've just created for our texture, which in this case is eyelashes. Now, as you can see there on his face already, but we want to see them on our face because it's easier when I can move in and out. Hopefully this hasn't frozen. That would be a shame. Maybe I could just come back over here. Oh no, they have, they've both frozen, the video. Well, that's fine. If I close this, just close the whole thing. <laughs> we'll go restart Spark. It's not taking that long. Okay, so we have our new project. We'll create a face mesh. Sorry about this. Add a material layer. Choose the file, which is in this case is our eyelashes. Helps to repeat things anyway. And then come over to our FaceTime camera. Hopefully this time it works. Yes, as you can see, it's now tracking onto my eyes. When I blink, it moves. And because of where we've drawn, where we've drawn, uh, over those face trackers, you can see the red dots where I've gone slightly inside and where I've gone. It's matching up pretty nicely. You can come in and you can change the color so you can make these black or even green or blue or whatever. If you make them black, then you can adjust the transparency, create a more realistic look. So having drawn <laughs> my pretty rough eyebrows, uh, eyelashes, <laughs> uh, I can come in now. Oh, sorry for the sound and everything. I'm really just not getting it. I'm, it's been a couple of days now and it's more difficult than you'd think. I'm just trying to power through, finish up the videos that I've got on my list and then work on the next ones that I had planned. Uh, but I keep getting distracted, probably because I haven't used this software in a couple of days. This tutorial is not going to be very efficient. I will have a two minute version as well where I just quickly go through this. Uh, but if you wanted the a uh, GIMP tutorial on how to make really bad eyelashes, then this is pretty much it. Yeah, so basically you adjust in here until you're satisfied. Give it a quick refresh. And as you can see, those are the eyelashes that I've now working with. This is, uh, yeah, so I made this. <laughs> this is this is a weird video. I'm kind of just getting used to being back. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, there'll be a two minute version of this one so you can just skip all of this which doesn't make sense because if you made it this far you've already watched all of it i don't know anymore uh i'm going to try and make a bunch of videos tonight so we'll see how that goes and yeah thanks for watching i guess i don't know bye